Hi there, join me in this video when I play photography bingo. So I've come up with the idea of going around my local area and treating it as a bingo game. Now this is probably not an original idea because let's face it, all ideas have already been thought of, but I thought it would be a bit of fun to do something a little bit different. This challenge really has two parts. Firstly, it's a really good technique to practice to walk around looking really carefully. It really will sharpen up your observational skills because what I'm gonna do is look for either actual numbers or groups of objects that are very obviously a number. So it might be three trees on their own and I'll count that as a three. But the second and more important reason is it's just gonna get me out with my camera doing something fun. So eyes down and let's go and enjoy our photography. I'm not gonna to be too fussy with the rules. What I'm gonna do is put a bingo card just here where I'm gonna record all the numbers that I see. And I'm looking for either groups of objects, objects that form a number, or just numbers themselves. Because all that this is about this morning is having a bit of fun. So another reason why I'm not being too specific about the rules that I'm imposing on myself this morning is because when you look at nature to find specific numbers of things, it's actually really very difficult. If you look at this tree here that's been cut down, it's just a mass of branches. And to try and isolate a specific number is gonna be very difficult. So I might rely more on man-made objects, but if I do see something in nature that is definitely a number, then I'll use that. Knock on the door, number four. So it's really easy to get lost in that idea that you've got to get up early in the morning to take those landscape pictures in golden hour. And that is the only kind of photography that has any worth. But what I'm doing today is really testing my observational skills. It's really making me think and look really carefully. And that has just as much value. And in the process, I'm really enjoying myself. Doctor's orders number nine. This challenge is proving decidedly difficult. If I was in a town, I'm sure there would be numbers everywhere, but out in the countryside like I am now, it's quite tricky. Now I want to avoid things like numbers on car number plates and phone numbers, because I think that is probably stretching the rules a little bit too far even for me. And so actually finding isolated numbers is proving a little bit tricky. One little dock, number two. Cup of tea, number three. There are numbers everywhere, like this one here, but it's above 15, so it doesn't count on my bingo card. What I'm also trying to do is avoid house numbers as much as possible. I have taken a few, but I am struggling anyway, because most houses out here have names rather than numbers. Young and Keen, number 15. Garden Gate, number eight. If you are new to the channel and you're enjoying this video, you can do me a really big favor by clicking the like, subscribe, and the bell notifications. That way you stay up to date with all of my future content and it really helps me out. Valentine's Day, number 14. Lucky seven. 
I'm not doing too badly at the moment. I've now got nine out of the 15. It turns out that our local village hall has a hygiene rating of five. So that's given me nearly the whole of my top row. I'm just looking for a number one. Man Alive, number five. Tom Mix, number six. If you're a regular viewer of the channel, you will know that my motto is to just enjoy your photography. Too many times people worry about producing that perfect image, maybe something that's gonna win a competition, but doing a challenge like this takes all the pressure off. All you need to do is just go out, just challenge yourself to do something a little bit different and it can really, really help. It might be that you haven't got enough time to go to out for a great big long drive somewhere. It might be that you've not got the weather or you just are not able to travel any amount of distance and this kind of thing you can do right on your doorstep. Boris's Den, number 10. What I'm starting to think now is I might just focus on actual numbers instead of things in nature because it's really difficult to see groups of things. I am starting to see more and more numbers and I'm starting to think of places that I can look for them as well. So when you get tuned in to looking for things like that, you start to know where to look and what to look for. I am trying to be a little bit creative this morning. I have found lots of numbers in the same location, say for instance on telegraph poles. So I've only used one of them because I'm sure you don't want to look at 15 pictures of telegraph poles. <music> Kelly's Eye, number one. I found a very interesting mark here with 12 on. I don't know what its function is. I can't see any obvious signs of any manholes or anything that it's marking. Um, but if you know, let me know down below in the comments. One dozen. Well, I'm on the home stretch now, just two numbers to go before I've got a full house. Um, it turns out that I've actually been able to find actual numbers. Now, it's not been particularly easy out in the countryside because there's not a wealth of numbers. We are just starting to get a little bit of rain coming in, but I am close to home now. So hopefully the rain will hold off long enough for me to get back home and find the final two numbers. Legs 11. Unlucky for some, number 13. Well, the rain's held off just long enough for me to get back home and find the final few numbers so I've got a full house. But let's face it, I wasn't gonna finish the video anyway until I did manage to find all the numbers. Today's been a really interesting challenge and I've really enjoyed myself, but it's not been easy. It's really pushed my observational skills to find all of those numbers, especially because I'm out in the countryside. If I was in a town, there might be a lot more numbers about and it might have been a little bit easier. But hopefully I've inspired you and given you some ideas about what you can do to just spice up your photography. Now, if you come up with a new idea that I've not thought of, let me know down below in the comments and I'll have a go myself. And if you're a YouTuber, then maybe we could do a joint challenge. So get in touch with me and we can arrange that. If you've enjoyed today's video and it's given you some ideas, do let me know down below in the comments or nip over to my Instagram account. That's at the Oakton Photography. You can leave me your comments there and any suggestions you've got for future challenges. Now, if you like what I do on the channel, you can support me by visiting my Teespring store. There I've got a range of merchandise on offer, but you don't have to spend any money at all to support the channel. You can do that simply by clicking like, subscribe and the bell notifications. That really helps me out and it makes sure that you don't miss out on any of future content. Watch out for next week's video. That goes live on Sunday. In the meantime, 
watch out for this video up here. But now, before I get too wet, all that's left to say is stay safe and I'll see you soon.